What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Dan Whitmer from the Jump Rope Dudes and today we will be teaching you the double under crisscross. Thank you for joining us today guys. So this trick is one that we've been trying to learn for a while and we're finally glad that we can bring it to you guys. Uh, we're actually here in Bali, Indonesia shooting this right now because we're here for a Jump Rope Dudes retreat um, so without continuing to ramble on for a long time let's just get right into the tutorial all right guys so the first thing we're going to want to do is learn the actual double under i got about 30 seconds of me here just doing the double under um, but there's a little card that's going to flash up on the screen to take you to the full tutorial but this move is going to be very very hard if you don't know how to do the double under and the crisscross by itself. Uh, really quick, when you do the double under, you're swinging the rope one time really hard and then letting the momentum of the rope uh, come around twice. So that's the key to the double under. Do not swing it twice. Swing it one time very hard and then let it come back down or, or come around twice. The next one, guys, is the crisscross and you're gonna see another little screen or another little uh, card flash up on there uh, taking you to the full crisscross tutorial. But just so you have this one, um, the way I like to think about this, the easiest way, is that you're putting your guns in the holsters, just like an old western movie. You see here I keep my wrists pretty straight, um, pretty level with myself, and I'm kind of just taking them in and out in these little figure eight moves. Like I said, if you haven't done this move yet, be sure to just practice these moves separately before um, you go through and try and do the double under crisscross. Now, we're going to work our way up slowly. So what we're going to do is just do one crisscross double or double under crisscross and then we'll do a couple regular bounces you can see right here and then right back up into there so the key for this move is just think of it as doing a double under don't even think of it at first as doing a crisscross because you need to swing the rope hard enough so that it already is going to spin around twice and then the crisscross action is just you know a, is easy because you already have the momentum of the rope going around so the, the way to think about this move is to do the double under, swing the rope really hard, and then once, as soon as the rope is behind your heels, that's when you do the figure eight with the jump rope. Um, and it's a little bit easier for my beginners out there with a heavy rope because the momentum of the rope will just carry itself around automatically. So if you can see here by the footage, notice how I just do one double under, I go really hard, and then I cross it right as soon as the rope comes behind my heel. So that's the key here, guys. To do it consecutively, that's what you're going to need to practice a lot more uh, to work up to. But just like with anything, make sure that you're doing the thing. Make sure that you're practicing as often as possible. And which brings me to my last point. To be able to, to do this, we're going to let the B-roll run for about a minute and a half. And I really just want you guys to look at the motion that's happening here. Concentrate and practice. Now, one thing I will say too is that my legs... Uh, my feet do come up a little bit higher and it's okay to kind of do a dolphin kick, which means you're kicking your feet forward, which we don't normally recommend in, the, in a regular double under, um, but doing this move, you need the extra space for the rope to come around because uh, it gets kind of tight with the crisscross. So the biggest thing that I want to get across here, guys, is that you need to practice this over and over again. It took Brennan and myself a little bit of time to perfect this. Um, but that's how it's going to be with any move. So again, as you can see here when I do the in slow motion, how high my feet are coming off the ground and see that little kick, my toes come up in the air before they come back down. Um, and we'll see from this angle, as soon as I do the double under and the rope swings once, right back into the crisscross. And a good way to uh, keep the momentum, momentum of the rope going is to open up your hands. Do you see how I open up my hands there when the rope comes around? That ensures that the rope stays tight and that when I do the crisscross, it's not going to tangle up and hit my feet. So this is a pretty challenging move, especially if you're trying to do it consecutively. But what I would recommend first is do regular bounce three times, do one of the moves, I mean, work your way up to doing it consecutively every single time.
Thank you for tuning in to this tutorial. We hope that it was helpful, guys. If you need a question and answer, do you wanna leave a comment, please do so below. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button. If you would like to receive more weekly content to help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. And lastly, if you guys want the jump rope that we use for this tutorial and all of the tutorials, it's the cross rope. It's the best one that we feel is currently on the market for 10% off our favorite jump rope. Go check the link out in the description. And be sure to stay tuned for Friday's video, which will be me jumping over random things. We made a video called, Can You Jump Rope Over This? And we basically just took 10 random things to see if they could be jumped with because people jump rope with a lot more things than just a jump rope. So be sure to stay tuned for that. That's coming up on Friday. Thank you for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Do things.